What's going on guys? It's that dude from Walmart back here today with a brand new video. Today guys, you can probably tell I'm in a different room. Yeah, uh, just in my dad's house right now. This is my bedroom up here. I don't really come up here that often though, but uh that's beside the point. And that's a whole different store for a whole different day. But um I was just gonna show you guys like a little rundown on my four wheeler, basically. Kinda like my little project. And uh kinda like the whole series with Taylor Campbell pimp my four wheeler. <laughs> I was gonna do something about like that myself, but it's gonna kinda be stretch just a little bit because I'm not really making money on YouTube as far as that's concerned but um I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna show y'all everything that I want to get from my folder and everything that it needs so far <laughs> all right so this is my 2000 Arctic Cat 300 little two wheel drive uh honestly this is more of like for hunting preferences than anything but it's kind of a little rundown all right going back through editing this i know a lot of you guys are gonna look at my folder and be like <laughs> it's an arctic cat man it sucks but anyways we got this tarp right here that we leave covered over it because yeah these things have bad problems with water getting in it's a little right here and then getting off in the gas tank and then you have to take that off pull your carburetor off train your gas it, it, it's it's just I, I don't like messing with it but anyways we got this right here because the plastic decides it likes to rattle and it's loose because the person who put this plastic on didn't put it on right as you can tell just to keep it from rattling some more i've got freaking wood under here to keep it from rattling but as far as what all's wrong with this uh, we have fixed some parts on it before. See, at first, uh, it was misfiring. First thing I did was pull that spark plug right here. And uh, I pulled it off, put on another one. And it just, it was still missing. Not as bad, but it was still missing. So the next thing we did, uh, went along, bought a CDI box. A little CDI box back there. And it came with the cool... And a spark plug, as you can tell right there. And uh, we put it on, and it immediately stopped it misfiring. We also wound up buying a carburetor for that thing, but because just in case that was the problem. And it didn't need it. Because, I mean, it's been running fine ever since. But, I mean, I've got the carburetor inside. I'll show that to y'all in just a second. We're just kind of keeping it right now, just in case we ever need it. As far as what else is wrong with this, I know I have a wheel bearing uh, on this side because sometimes whenever you're driving it down the road, you can hear it. But uh, another thing is, it's kind of also a little offline, so I need to get it realigned. And yeah, I don't know if you can obviously tell or not. I need some new tires. Honestly, I need the back tires more than I do the front ones because these right here like to go flat, even though really haven't this week because it's been kind of warm out here i mean that, that's just mississippi weather for you i mean it's shoot it's 70 degrees today and it's dag on december anyways on to the next problem let me show you so i cut this on and yeah my lights everything up here come on that's how you crank it up that's how you cut on the headlights yeah they're not on well another thing about that is too was um they were not working in high beam see that's my high beam i don't work on high beam so pop in low beam do the same thing i wound up looking up the uh, headlight assembly on here crazy on how much this was anyways as far as the headlight assembly was for here it was 160 dollars for the full set and uh i got to looking at light bars and i, th I found one that was about 35 dollars and then i can get the uh, whole mounting kit for about less than 20 but honestly, if I got it, I'd just probably mount it right here. Or I'd probably mount it right here if I could get it to fit. Okay, it's me again. Uh, another editing mistake that I saw whenever I was doing this. Uh, I was talking about wanting to get speakers from a four-wheeler. And honestly, I'd probably end up getting another battery for it if I ended up doing that. See, so, because right now this four-wheeler is basically just being used for hunting purposes. And I don't want to be blaring music while I'm driving down like there to go hunting would make any sense another little idea that i'm playing with that i really want to do this little bad boy here 
And as you can see, I ain't cleaned this thing off. I have gotten her a little muddy. Mainly just little mud holes I've had her in. It's just kind of straight piping <laughs> on me. Honestly, I think it'd sound pretty cool. But as far as that, I'm wanting to get another exhaust for it. Because, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> who doesn't want a loud full wheeler? I mean, right? All the big YouTubers have got them, man. I mean, J.P. Stevens, Braden Price, you know, those guys. Man, they all got one. I, I mean, I, I just I want to be like them. Nah, I'm just kidding, man. I just want to be my own person. Another thing, I don't know if y'all noticed this or not, but this is a little sticker that my girlfriend got for me. That she wanted me to put on my car, but I wound up putting it on here instead. It's the Confederate flag. Dear heart. <laughs> she loves me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's a pretty girl. No, this isn't my dog. This is my uncle and aunt's dog. They're staying with us for the weekend. So they brought home. Big girl. She is. She's a pretty girl. She's a boxer. Look at her. Look at that little poke that deal. <laughs> Anyways, this is the uh, <laughs> carburetor that we had. Why are you barking? Share some on too. Anyways, this is the carburetor that we had got originally. Uh, I really don't know much about this brand, but well, it's, if it works, it works. That's just the way I feel. Like I said, we've gotten it before because we didn't know whether it was this or the CDI box, but we wound up getting this anyways, you know, just in case. But we're only keeping it here now. We ain't put it on yet because the one that we got on there isn't bad, and we don't want to go on ahead and put this on just yet. I don't know if y'all can hear another dog kind of howling, but um, yeah, that's Daisy, their other dog. And she's old. She wants her. Uh, she wants her owners, but they're not here right now, so I'm just having to listen to her whine. Like I said, I don't know if y'all can hear or not, because I don't know how well this phone really picks up sound, but yeah. If y'all was wanting to know what I'm playing, I was just playing some Madden 21. Got the head coach, Dixon Butts. Anyways, um, whatever I get online later, or I actually have a chance to get some service, then um, yeah, I'll get online and show y'all everything that I'm going to buy eventually i know the video quality there is gonna be a little crappy because i'm using uh what is it called mobizen i think to screen record it but anyway uh i'll get back to y'all in a little bit one thing that i didn't tell you guys that i was thinking about getting was uh wheels rims for my four wheeler and uh honestly if i was to go with any kind of rim i'd go with the itp SS Alloys, which is what this is right here, you can tell. But I screenshotted every one of these pictures because I didn't want to give away my uh, address or anything like that. Uh, these are just a thought right now. I ain't got to have these for my four-wheeler, but honestly, they look pretty nice. Give her a little bit better look, but like I said, I ain't got to have it. But in terms of what I'm really needing, uh, we have a light bar. Can't remember the exact wattage on this, but uh, honestly, it's a little nine-inch light bar. Got the mounting kit and everything with it, whole fuses and all that. And uh, I think for all of that, it was about forty-seven dollars plus tax and everything, which I'm not gonna calculate all that up just yet. This is gonna be the first thing that I'm gonna buy, and I'll give you all a little video of me putting that on. But the next thing. That I'm wanting to get is the Sun F Power I um, all terrain tires because I do ride my foiler on the road a lot. Honestly, I, I looked at a bunch of reviews on these, and from what I can tell, they run pretty good. But I ain't gonna be doing a lot of burnouts and everything because honestly, tires are expensive. But honestly, that don't look too bad. So a little 25 by 10 by 12s and 25 by 8 by 12s because that's what I'm running on my four-wheeler. Ain't nothing too aggressive, but something that can get me through a little bit of mud. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Honestly, it just does, it looks like a pretty good tire, too. There was another set that I was looking at, but I looked at them and they weren't that good. Right. Yeah, here's another picture of them, but yeah, on to the next. This 
it's something that, like I said, I ain't got to have this. But it's something that I'm keeping in mind. It's a little Boss Audio uh, ATV speakers. You can fit these on your four-wheeler or a side-by-side. -side. You can get these mounted up on a side-by-side. -side, but um, Honestly, it's just something to keep in mind that I want to get. I think this was about 110 before taxes. These were about 302 before taxes for all four. So, I mean, that's a really good deal. That was, I think, 47 before taxes. And, shoot, I think just for one of these is about 125 so by the time you get done paying that, it's about $500 for the rim. And that's ridiculous. But, I mean, it's metal. But I ain't going to sit here and argue with them about the price. But um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think there are some better tires that I can get out there? Uh, just let me know. Now, I'm not going to go out there and slap 29 assassinators on there because that's just stupid. But um, anyways, just let me know. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I really got to get this edited and uploaded. But if y'all did enjoy the video and y'all want to see more of these, be sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Be sure you smash that like button for more content. I'll see you guys in the next one.